What you are looking at right now is how I have been coding on my phone when camping out in the Australian bush, with very few sacrifices in the development workflow that I typically use at home. And this is coming from someone who is maybe a little too fixated on optimizing my development workflow, both from a hardware and software perspective. When using my phone, I have the exact same configuration for my code editor. I've got LSPs and diagnostics, a nice workflow for quickly switching between terminal sessions and browser tabs. I can serve and build my projects. I can use live grep to search massive code bases and more. Really, the list of things I can't do from my phone is much shorter, and we'll get into some of those limitations shortly. Recently, I published a video about how I was using Termux to create a development workflow on my phone. Termux is an application that can be installed on Android devices that provides you with a terminal and Linux environment on your phone. I won't recap the whole thing here, but the basic motivation was to allow me to code wherever and whenever I needed to, on a device that I always have on me anyway that can easily be charged even if I'm in the middle of nowhere. I showed my initial setup in that video and was surprised that I was able to set up so much of my typical front-end development workflow. I had NeoVim, Git, Node, NPM, Angular, NX and more all working perfectly. But I was yet to actually try it out in a serious capacity, as in on an actual extended camping trip. But I was recently able to do just that on a trip to the beautiful York Peninsula in South Australia. Initially my plan was to code using NeoVim and only the on-screen keyboard, but that was the first thing I realised wasn't going to pan out. To be fair, with the configurable extra keys Termux provides, it does make it somewhat realistic to do a little coding, but I was, predictably, significantly slower and frequently made typos to the point where it was frustrating to use for anything other than some quick fix idea or a note. As well as that, having to hold the phone in a vertical orientation and sacrificing much of the screen to the keyboard left very little room for the actual code. As I mentioned in the previous video, the appeal of this setup for me is to have something super small and lightweight that I can easily take camping or hiking with me. I wasn't exactly thrilled about the idea of bringing along a keyboard as well, until I got my hands on this thing. It is small, obviously, in fact it's only a little larger than my phone, so it's still quite easy to justify the pack weight and space. But I'm a bit of a keyboard nerd and have spent a long time coming up with a super efficient and ergonomic layout for my Moonlander keyboard that I used at home, which utilized layers to fit more keys into a smaller space, eliminating the need for any finger to move more than one key away. I have a separate video where I talked about that layout, but to cut to the chase, this new keyboard is basically my ultimate optimized layout realized in a more efficient way on hardware dedicated to that very purpose. Full disclosure, I was sent one of these keyboards for free, but this video is not sponsored and I was under no obligation to mention the keyboard at all. I originally intended to just trial this keyboard for my camping dev workflow, but I ended up liking it so much that I replaced my Moonlander with it and now I use it at home as well. It was clear that the people behind this keyboard are passionate and prioritize the quality of their boards and I have since partnered with them as an affiliate. So if you're interested in checking this keyboard out for yourself, you can check out the link in the description. So not only can I have a portable development environment that takes up very little space, I'm still getting the full benefit of the optimized keyboard layout I typically use at home, which makes me way more productive. One reason being that I can of course type faster if I'm using my regular keyboard, but it also means that all of the key maps I've got set up for NeoVim all work as usual as well. It's my muscles that remember my key maps, so if I were using a different keyboard layout on my phone, I would struggle a lot more. But as I hinted at in the beginning, there are still some pain points with this setup. First of all, just obviously coding on a phone is going to be slower than on a full desktop setup. But the productivity penalty isn't quite as big as you might expect. I'd estimate, very non-scientifically, I may be half as productive with this setup, which given the context in which I'm using this is very acceptable to me. But I have also run into some configuration and compatibility issues. Most of the time for me, the main issue that pops up is when trying to install NPM packages that don't provide binaries for Android. However, most of the time I've been able to solve this by forcing the platform to Linux when running the install command. This doesn't always work though. For example, I've also run into issues where a post install script for an NPM package relies on detecting the platform. 
And in this case, even if you force npm to set the platform to Linux, the post install script will still detect that it is running on Android instead of Linux, which may mess things up. There are also some issues Android 14 introduced, which impacted a bunch of things for people, but specifically for me, it was preventing LSPs like the Angular language service from spawning properly in NeoVim. To solve that, I had to manually download and extract some Debian package with a fix to Termux exec that I found in a GitHub issues thread, which worked great, but obviously required some sleuthing. So it's not all exactly a one-click install and you're slinging code on your phone. But if you're using NeoVim already, then you're probably used to suffering through configuration issues anyway. So what does a little more pain really matter? And if you do manage to get everything up and running the way you like, it results in an actually legitimately good dev environment with very few sacrifices over working on a normal computer. I'll have links to Termux and the new keyboard I'm using in the description if you want to check all this out for yourself. If you like the video, a like or subscribe before you go would be greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you back here again.